everybody. In today's video, I wanted to share a few of the things that I picked up recently from Ulta, Target, and Ulta, Target, and Mac. And Mac. Okay. So first thing I have here is what I got at Target. It's the number seven beautiful skin night cream for dry to very dry skin. I had been wanting to try this line for a long time. I've heard really good things about it. I've heard that it's very popular in the UK and they have it here at Target. So I wanted to give it a go. Um, this is what the packaging looks like. Um, cream itself smells, it smells good. It feels very um, hydrating, which is what it's supposed to do. The only thing that I was noticing and that I did not like about it is that it has a very bad ingredient. It has tons of parabens and just not very good ingredients. So, oh well, you know, I'll still give it a go. And this one, by the way, was $13.99 at Target. Okay, the next thing is from MAC. I just got this lipstick in the, oh, lipstick in the shade Coral Bliss. I thought it was a very pretty color, um, very s spring and summer appropriate. There's that. I can cover it so that you can see it better. Very pretty. Let me see if I can swatch it. Yeah, it's very pretty. It's a beautiful coral with a hint of pink in it. I'm not, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see it very well, but but that's it really like it. I've really been into MAC lipsticks lately um, and I love the way that they smell. I've always been into MAC lipsticks actually but uh, more so now every time I go into a MAC store that's usually what I will get, a lipstick. Okay. Now on to the stuff at Ulta. Um, this stuff I just picked up today. Uh, they were having the buy one get one 50% off sale and then also I had my three 350 coupon. 350 off on the purchase of $10 or more. So I got a few brushes. I was wanting to try some of the Real Techniques brushes. I already own the Expert Face Brush, which I adore. And I also own their version of the Beauty Blender the sponge. And it's really, really good. I use it daily, almost. So I picked up this set. It's the Real Techniques. Uh, your eyes enhanced starter kit it looks like this it has um, this base this is called the base shadow brush uh, it says it applies a smooth flawless foundation of color this one is the deluxe um, deluxe crease brush soft oversized design for effortless contouring the accent brush is that one the pixel point eyeliner brush is that one and this one is the brow brush. So I was I, I needed actually some new eye brushes because I don't have too many, and um, I couldn't pass up the deal. It was seventeen ninety nine. It retails this one seventeen ninety nine. But after all the deals, I saved like almost five dollars. So I paid around eleven twelve dollars for it, which was a pretty good deal. And then the other brush that I picked up is this uh, Real Techniques blush brush which looks like that. Looks really nice. Um, I was actually also thinking of using it as like for my powder. So I'm excited to give these a go. Oh, and this one was, the blush brush was $8.99. But with the coupons and everything, I ended up paying around seven, around $7 for it. Okay, the next thing I picked up, I was wanting to, I've been wanting to try this foundation from Maybelline. Wait, Maybelline, sorry. <laughs> it's the Dream Matte Mousse uh, Foundation in the color Light Beige. I feel like it's going to be a little too light for me, but um, we'll see. I've heard mixed reviews on it um, here on YouTube. A lot of people like it, a lot of people don't like it. So... I'm going to give it a go and decide for myself. Um, Revlon has a similar one, the Whipped Foundation, I think I, it's called. And I really do like that one. It, 
it has really good coverage and I um, really did like it. I've used it before. So hopefully I like this one just as much. And if you guys want to see a review on this product, I'd be more than happy to do so. Oh, and that one was Maybelline Mousse Foundation. It retails for $8.99 at Ulta. Um, and then with my coupons, I ended up saving around 3 bucks. So I paid $6 for it. Pretty good. And then the last thing that I got at Ulta is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circles. And this is the Brightening Illuminator, which um, I've really been looking for something like this. Um, I actually recently bought the MAC Prep and Prime, and I found it to be very drying in my under eye area. Um, so I didn't like it. I thought it was too drying and it did not feel right on my under eye area, so I decided to return it. And then I've also tried the um, Garnier, uh, I forgot what it's called, but it's got like a metal tip and um, it's meant for dark circles as well. That one works wonders, but I just wanted to see if there was a cheaper alternative because that one does run around $10, $10-11. So I think it's a bit pricey even though it works very well. For a drugstore product, it's pricey in my book. So this one was only, um, maybe we $8.99 minus my coupons. I paid around $6 for this. So, yeah, that's that's this one. And that's it. everything that I got. Um, yeah, I didn't get too many things, but I'm excited to try all of them, especially the brushes, because I do love, love, love this line of brushes. They did such a good job with it. Um, so, yeah. So that's going to do it for today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching my videos, and I'll see you in the next one.